All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a service and client package in C++. If you're new to my channel, I teach robotics, controls, machine learning, and computer vision. So subscribe to learn more. Check out my playlist on computer vision using AI, OpenCV in Python, ROS2, Git, Python, C++, SOLIDWORKS, mechanical design, and here's my GitHub that follows along with it. So if you haven't already, make the, install the CMake extension to view the CMake list.txt files. Uh, but first off, we're going to create our package from our ROS2 workspace source. So we're going to navigate to that folder. And then, so we're already there, we're going to cd to source. So after you cd to source, we're going to run this command here, ROS2 package create dash dash build type amend cmake cpp srvcli. That's going to be the name of our package. And then our dependencies will be the rcl cpp and then the example interfaces. So after we run that command, if we go to our workspace and our source folder, we're going to see our CPP SRV CLI. Okay, so what, what the uh, thing that we're adding here that you notice is the example interfaces. So this example interfaces will allow us to use um, a message that has this sort of format, okay? So in this case, we're using a server client. So this is a type of SRV format that we're going to be using. It's going to be a custom, a specific interface that we're going to be using. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the files that we'll be using in this example. So if we look into our um, files here, we have our client and server. So here is our server. So we take a look at this function or this file here. So what we have is we have these includes and then we have these functions here. So here, if we take a look, we have our add function. So what this will do is um, it's going to get our values based on our values A and B. And then whatever those values are is going to try to add it up and then return the sum of the values. Okay, so that's the general idea, but here it's going to mostly just focus on getting the values. So that's what this, this is doing. So you see that sum, sum right here is going to be equal to the sum of the two values. And then it's going to give your response back here. So here's going to output my B, my A and B. And then here is sending back the response, which is going to be the sum, which is the two numbers that we just added. And then here we have, again, some resources on function pointer and shared pointers. You could go ahead and check that out. Uh, but inside our main function, what we have here is it's going to init. And then we're going to create the node, going to make the shared um, add to int server. And then we're going to have another shared pointer called service when we create our service. And then here is going to be the logging that says ready to add to ints. And then we're going to do the spin and shutdown. Okay, so that's on the server side. On the client side, what we have here is we have a main function. So this main function here is going to say usage add to ints. So add to ints. Then it's going to have a share pointer node add to ints client. And then here we have a client create client, and it's going to have a make shared. And then this is going to have the you're going to have two values that it's going to be expecting. And then here is going to be waiting for, um, waiting for some action to happen. Okay, so if everything is working, it's going to go ahead and process everything. So here what we have is going to be, um, we're just going to communicate here, uh, clients send requests. So it's going to send the request. And if everything is working, what we're going to do is process the sum and it's going to output what the sum is by getting the results. Okay, so this result here is going to be retrieving the result from produced by the server. And then after everything is done, it's going to go ahead and shut down. So if we go back to here, we're going to go ahead and see that in action. But first, let's go ahead and move those files to our source uh, folder. So we're going to go ahead and copy that. 
And we're gonna go inside here, our source, source folder, and then paste it in there. And we also want to see uh, the changes in our CMake list. Our package.xml did not get updated. We don't need to update it this time because when we built the package, we actually added the dependencies. So let's just go ahead and look at the changes in our CMake list. So if we go back here, we see our CMake list. So here, the part that we added to the already generated file is this part here. So you can see that it says where we have an add executable here, and then we're amending the target dependencies. We do that both for the server and client files. And then here we do the install for the target. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and copy this file, or I'll just copy the content of this file. You can move the file or um, copy it, but I'm just gonna replace the content with the new content, and then we're gonna use that. Okay, so next up is we could do this optional check here for missing dependencies. And then we're going to run this command here to run it from our workspace. So we're going to go back one folder and then call can build our folder, the serve client. So while that's building, also you're going to notice that typically C++ uh, packages will take a bit longer than Python packages, packages to build. So that's why you'll see it take a while. But in our, once that's done, we're going to have another terminal that's going to go ahead and source and run the server. So when we source and run the server, we're going to see it says that ready to add to int. And then in the other one, we're going to run the client. So in the client, it's going to do the actual uh, processing. So here you can see that it says sum of 10. Okay, so in my next video, I'm going to talk about server and client in Python. So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.